All right, guys. Going to be a short one today. I only have uh, about four minutes of recording uh, time on my on my phone. So uh, this van, I'm in the middle of diagnosing it. Sort of uh, 133,000 miles on it. I'm going to show you what the complaint is. Hopefully you guys can pick it up in the video. It's that rattling sound. So this was left for me to look at. I work here part time helping out with fleet maintenance. And uh, they wanted my me to give them a second opinion on it. They think it's coming from a lifter. That noise is not a typical lifter sound. It's not a rod bearing sound. Now I'm going to show you what I think I got it narrowed down to. Possibly. You're going to have to give me a minute here to raise this vehicle up. This uh, four post lift is awfully slow. Um, this vehicle just had a bunch of work done to it by another guy here. Again, this is our in our fleet. I know I'm sure that motor is so loud in the recording. Uh, part of our fleet, uh, I think he just did an AC condenser because the uh, transmission cooler is part of the AC condenser. It was leaking, I guess. And um, I, I think he had the intake manifold off. I, I think he might have done something with the uh, engine oil cooler and the housing. I'm not. I'm not 100% certain, but. Um, Again, he left his note for me. His suspicion was it was a lifter, um, I, and that's not a typical lifter sound. I, I know these can tick, and they can have lifter tick. Um, that sound is just not the normal lifter tick. Um, it's not lower end or rod bearing. Rod bearings have a distinct sound. But, so this is more uh, pronounced under here. I'm going to show you real quick. I know I've already said that. I gotta grab my flashlight. When you rev this up, the noise kind of goes away. Um, basically what I did was is I uh, pulled this inspection blade off because I had the noise narrowed down to about the transmission area. And um, I'm not 100% certain how to show you guys Now, uh, I'm running out of recording time because my phone sucks and it's overloaded. But um, basically what I did was is I looked at that flex plate with that cover off. And um, there's cracks that you can see um, towards like the mounting where it mounts to the crank. Um, so it's split all the way across. So the next step for this one, guys, is take the transmission out of it. Replace that flex plate, see if that noise goes away. I'm going to keep you guys posted and uh, maybe I'll show you a picture. I'm not sure if I'm going to tear it down or if he's going to, um, but I'll try to keep you guys updated and post an updated video uh, along with this one. All right, guys. Peace.